Welcome back to Piney Pie Podcast, and it is the Christmas special, hence our fancy jumpers. Mm. Right, Merry so Christmas. for the Christmas special, let's get in and we'll talk about our own individual teams because we've got some belting topics coming up. So, Josh, run us through Man United. Um, I am very much Ollie out, um, which seems harsh, but I can't change my mind because Nick will give me shit. Um, we are winners game in hand, we go second, but we have the media who will tell you that Leeds United are having a better season. It's very weird. I don't I don't know why United aren't getting any credit. I watched a podcast last week and there was some prick from Lancashire saying worst team in top six. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but but it's sort of right to say that everyone's saying that, and it is it is strange. We're so inconsistent within games that you look at United, you can watch them for 20 minutes and go, they're terrible. Turn it off, check score, and we've scored three goals. It's it's a really weird team. If we clicked, and I said it a couple of weeks ago, if we had a better manager, I think we'd win the league this season because the players are good. It's weird living in good. a world of winning your game in hand and being second and saying, I want my manager out. That's a weird situation. Well, yeah, I'm not, I do I'm get not, it. Not, I do get it. I do I'm get it. Like, the media have absolutely yeah. ramped you. I'm not like saying sack him now. But just tomorrow will do. Just tomorrow, yeah, just before Christmas. Um, but no, I, I just think he's not the right man, is what I'm saying. I think he. I, I don't think he will win titles at United and I think the players are good enough too I think they just need a coach that's that's top class and I don't think he is that I've also said it before I'd love nothing more than to win trophies under him because he does care about the club so but yeah I, I, I don't think we'll win big trophies under Solskjaer nah. right Luke run us through Burnley I fucking said it to everyone in the world via the medium of YouTube said it <laughs> Publicly, then me gets fit. We look fit. <laughs> We're not just on YouTube, guys. Go and follow us on Spotify as well. <laughs> Off the top of my head, that's six games since he returned. Twelve points, four clean sheets. It's not bad. Good. You see, yeah. Yeah, and you did you did call it, and I think we gave you a bit of shit for it. But yeah, fair play. That's what Burnley built on, isn't it? Good, solid defence. Don't concede, and you've got a chance of winning. And, but it, it is, but tonight, um, two one flat as wolves massively. We missed two one on ones. Uh, Brown Hill hit the crossbar with a great shot. He's looking a great player now. Really is. Um, really strong midfielder. Yeah, um, I have to say this. Luke, you're giving me a very strong James Bond vibe, especially when your hands are like here. <laughs> I'm, yeah. just, I'm just a happy man. Well, I mean, Daniel Craig is retiring, so who knows? Just it's just you know, it's just a good time to be a Burnley fan right now because you know we look a strong team again. The takeover is imminent now, which really That's been gives for three months. It has been for three months. But like, <laughs> It properly is now. Like it's in yeah. Reuters and everything. Um, everyone associated with the club saying it, it's ha- about to happen type thing. Um, before January, to allow Dyche for the first time at, at Burnley in almost nine years to spend some money. Mm-hmm. And you have to say, you know, he's earned that right. And he's had a couple of signings for big money at Burnley, which haven't worked out in Gibson and Vidra. Yeah. But by and large, his transfer business for us has been exceptional. And he has spent big money a couple of times in his work, like when we got Chris Wood for 15 million. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's not big money. Let's talk it about premiership. It's not big money. No, I mean, so we've done it right. There was a stat tonight that the commentator uh, on Sky said while we were playing Wolves, and he said Burnley in the last, since Wolves have been promoted, which is about four years, three years or something, have spent 42 million. That's not including like outgoings that we've we've made most of that back from selling players. Yeah. Um it's the same amount of money Bristol City have spent in the championship in the same period. That's mad. Absolutely mad. Absolutely ridiculous. 
Um, you know, I don't think we're going to be going out buying like Neymar, to be clear. But I think what, what this money will allow us to do is compete with the bottom half of the Premier League. Yeah. financially, which we've never had. We've always fought. We've always been like trying to get people on the quiet so we didn't get usurped. I mean, did you know, and this is a fact, four years ago, Burnley had agreed a fee and terms and conditions and he'd passed a medical with Hakim Zayic. Really? really? Then he went to Ajax. That was from uh, Tventi. Tventi. Yeah. Three years ago, even. And, and there's, there's loads of stories like that where we've had players like in our grasp, and then mm. money's just stopped us. So clearly, we've got good scouting and everything. It's just we've never had. It's just getting it on the line into. Not, not the means to compete. So it's very exciting for us. Um, I'm interested to see who we bring in, and I think we'll be comfortable. Um, I don't think these words will come back to bite me on the arse yeah. at all. Um, I think we've got a first eleven that's very strong for the bottom half at Premier League. Um, yes lack of strength in depth and that's what he needs to fix yeah. but uh, I think we'll be comfortably like 12 to 14 I really do yeah. I think Derby's in a very similar position to Burnley to be honest I think Burnley. we've had a very we're, we're the championship Burnley at the minute <laughs> <laughs> but very shocking start of the season did the right thing getting rid of the manager Wayne Rooney He's got his own sort of way of working. We look defensively sound now. I, don't, I think we've conceded like a couple of goals in the six or seven games that he's took charge of. I mean, stop the leaky defence. Attacking-wise, I know we've sort of laughed about it, but Colin Kazim Richards looks unbelievable. For a 90-year-old striker, he's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> but, yeah, he's... We look, we look a threat, and Jason Knight. I'm not joking. I think he'll be snapped up by a Premiership team, and I think he'd be a great fit at someone like Burnley to give him a chance in in Premiership. He just worked his bollocks off, but I think again we'll probably finish anywhere between 14th and probably eighth. I think that's our position this season, and then if, like I say, he does get permanent role, I think we'll be all right for next season if Rooney gets what he wants. So. I think give him a chance. I know everyone keeps saying about he's not the right manager. I think I were even doubtful, especially in Platon, but he's, he's proven as everyone wrong. So I definitely think give him a chance and see what happens for next season. Yeah, I do. I think you'll both stay up. Yeah. It'd be a shame to, for both of them to go down, to be honest, because Burnley's an established premiership club and, well, we've got a good, quite a good stature in championship aren't we so mm-hmm. right we'll move on to mm-hmm. our who we think is going to win the Premier League and Luke I'll start with you I said City I think at start of season but mm-hmm. definitely had that wrong you can't look past Liverpool again I'm afraid they, they've been obviously not as good um, had a yeah. few injuries massive one in Van Dyke, regardless of what Josh <laughs> says Um but fucking 7-0 away at Palace, and it could have been 50. Let's be right. Um, <laughs> it was a training game, weren't it, if it anything? Was, it was an absolute... If I were a Palace fan, I'd be fuming. It was a joke. And yeah, Liverpool are a good team. You should never go under like that at home. But to that extent, it really was no. just a, a joke game. It was like FIFA. Yeah. That's what Liverpool still have, that attacking quality. Um Henderson, fantastic. Massive fan of him. I think, you know, he's, he's the guy you maybe forget about when you talk about Liverpool's strengths, but the way he dictates the tempo of that team. Um, doesn't like do the defence splitting pass off, and it's just that he's always, if you look, so often the assister to the assist maker. Mm. He gets the pass right, and, and I'm, you've not asked me about Jordan Henderson's stats here, so I'll show up about him, but yeah, Liverpool will win league. Gosh, who do you think? Um, yeah, I think it will be Liverpool. And I'm shit at predictions, so I'll predict Liverpool and hopefully the wheels fall off. Salah stops scoring, Klopp gets sacked and they get Roy Hodgson back. Um, wouldn't it be a better time to be alive when Roy Hodgson were in charge of Liverpool? And they I forgot that happened. And he fought Chesky at left back and 
Yeah. Um, I th- th- yeah. I think Fabinho is probably their player at season so far to fill the gap that Van Dijk's left sort of without any issue. He's unreal. Um, yeah, I think they'll win league. I, I don't want them to. I would literally pick any of the other 19 teams. <laughs> so, for me, I do think Liverpool, but I really want to say Man United. One, to prove, to prove you wrong, Josh. And <laughs> secondly, for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to actually win something and to change that media perception of him, that is not... Just useless, pretty much. Yeah, but you can. He's clueless. Him, but... Sorry, even even if he did, it'd be oh, worst team to ever win Premier League. Yeah, yeah. it would be. It Not really would Van Dijk were out injured. You you can see yeah. what would happen. Gary Neville would say they've done well, but it, it, this is a hollow victory. It was Leeds's title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Man United because a game in hand, they win that, the two points off, and it's a. Anyone's game. Liverpool haven't been solid all season. They've been yeah. a bit rocky in a couple of big fixtures, haven't they? So, mm. yeah, they had that very convincing win against Palace. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm going to go Man United. I really oh, hope you're the right. Red Devils. Come on, you boys. So, last thing I want to talk about before we go on to our Christmas quiz is do we think Sheffield United are going to get less than 11 points? Josh, what do you think? I really hope so. I predicted them to finish in the bottom one at the start of the season. And if I could predict them lower now, I would. They are diabolical. And it shows how unreal the season was last year. Like, it's the same players. Chris Basham was playing for them last year. This isn't like some injury stricken crisis and they've pulled him out at depths of despair. He was there last year as well when they were winning. It's only now... I don't know what's, why Premier League teams weren't doing this to him last year, but I don't know. They... He's never slate Chris Basham again. I said it in our group chat. He's my now favourite Premier League player. When he flicked that ball over Matic's head after going in centre mid with Ampadu, it lives on in my memory. Spoken <laughs> like a two championship fan. Exactly. <laughs> I think they'll pick some points up in the next few games because Sander Berger's out for three months. <laughs> and since, it's since he came in that they've lost form because I, th- I feel they shunted... Like Sander Berg, I'm giving him lots of shit. It's not that he's a crap player because I think in a good team, he'd actually be pretty, yeah. pretty damn good. It's just that he looks a fish out of water there because he's a slower player. Yeah, yeah. Sheffield United's game's all about the press with Lundstrom, uh, Fleck. Mm. So you've got a player who's more lackadaisical and sort of meanders around the pitch like Yaya Toure. He, he, he just stifles their entire midfield. Yeah. For me. Mm. And that's what I always, I've said that a million times to, obviously we've got mates who are Sheffield United fans, but I've said that quite often to them and they disagree. Well, one of them does, if you can guess it. <laughs> um, so I think they'll get points they, they played quite well the other day with 10 men uh, at Brighton who are dog shit and will get relegated um, and they were very we were raving angry. about Brighton at the start of the year weren't we <laughs> Man, isn't it? I'd love to go back and watch because I think I said they'd go down and then about two weeks later I went they're pretty good aren't they <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. But, it was like that that Connolly player, he's bloody brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> PE teacher of a manager, that's the problem. Don't <laughs> really know. But um, yeah, Sheffield United lowest points total. They've got it's a it's a good chance, you have to say. They've got two points. I mean it's eleven, isn't it? No, two points out of fourteen, I think. They still haven't won, and it's Christmas Day in four days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think they'll get more than eleven. No one's no one's better slash worse than that Derby team. We're keeping that bloody record. It's the only one we'll ever eleven get. Eleven is so few points. It's the biggest thing on Derby's honours list. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. let's be clear though. That is Sheffield United's only goal this season. Now, yeah, they are getting relegated. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they they as a bare minimum, that should be the target. Don't go down with that stuff. Yeah. Second question on that. 
do they stick with Wilder or do they get rid of him? Do they give it some games? Do they get rid? Yeah, stick with him. He's, he, they should, they've got no right to be in the Premier League with the players that they've got. So he, he needs another chance to bring them back up. Stick with him. Yeah. With they've him. signed poorly for the money they've spent. They've signed poorly. Oh, they've signed terribly. But I don't really know what Bogle and Max Lowe brings to that team. I mean, I love their two players. Brilliant at Derby. Max Lowe, not so much. I liked him there, but he barely got games there. So to come in and go to a Sheffield United team when they've got Ender Stevens and uh, George oh. Baldock just didn't make any sense. So, I'm good for championship. Bogle played well against Brighton when he came on. They scored, yeah. but they were playing him at right wing. So I'm wondering if... That's a new position, yeah. Because um, I'm, I'm with you, Nick. I, um, I think, apart from like O'Connell, who I really rate, and if they go down and Burnley stay up, I hope we nab, to be honest. Yeah. That's the kind of profile I think guys should look at. Um, but Baldock and Stevens were the standout players for me at times last season with... <laughs> especially Baldock, really eye-catching player. I'm a big fan of him. So it seemed weird for them to spend 18 million or whatever it was on them too. Yeah. And then the other signings, like you said, Brewster, is just Dominic Solanke. They need, a, they need a prolific goal scorer. They've signed like McBurney. Well, fair enough, he was there last year. But when you think of the striker list, Moose, he were crap at Bournemouth. Let's not be... Yeah. <laughs> Other than Arsh about it, but <laughs> McBurney, Sharp, Brewster, there's nothing, there's no experience no, no, in the striker in the Premier League. The best, the best centre forward is still David McGoldrick. Yeah. 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 In every way. He's quite, he's a good player. He's getting on, but he's a good player. And that's a shambles to say that when they've spent 40, 50 million for Moose, Brewster, and McBurney. Yeah. It's yeah. funny though, McBurney, I think he's gash, absolutely gash. I'll say yeah, this. You put that player in Burnley, he scores goals. It just doesn't suit Sheffield United. Yeah. He needs crosses. He needs route one football. He needs to pull his fucking He needs to get, get in Chris Wood's shadow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's in, permanently. But, uh, right, enough of that. Let's get on to our Christmas quiz. So, oh. I've got six questions for you. For the first round, and that is all about the players that have come onto the podcast. Let's get through. So, are you ready? Do we have to? Whoever answers first, whoever answers first wins the point. And if you answer, if you answer, that's it. You're frozen out, and it goes over to the next person. Oh, this is very official. It's so official. I've got a buzzer. (laughs) (laughs) My buzzer. My buzzer is. (laughs) <laughs> right, I like it. So, question one. <laughs> this is gash, isn't it? <laughs> on, right, question one. Which, which player has made 114 appearances for Huddersfield and Beow! scored 10 goals? Josh. Ben Thornley. No, frozen out, Luke. Boom. Steve Baines? Oh my god, he has got it. Ring the bells. Ding, 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 ding. One point. I'm enjoying this. I'm quite, I might go into a quiz hosting, actually. <laughs> Question two. How many players have we had on the podcast who has begun their careers at Nottingham Forest? Yeah. Four. You've got to name the players. Oh, fuck. I just guessed. Four. Four. No. Oh, good. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Luke. Steve Baines. Is that one? And? I've, not, I've got no timer. He didn't say that in rule. I didn't say that. You're right. <laughs> it's Christmas in four days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I can't remember who with that. <laughs> Steve Guinan. Two. Oh my god, that's it! Oh, is it that's it, Josh! Why are you giving Josh. him points for? Christmas, in it. <laughs> Christmas. Right, that is 2 0. But don't worry, in the last round, there's chances to make points up. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Question three Mario Kart Blue Shell last round, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Which player got his first senior goal in a derby game? Boom! Oh. 
Luke. GTD. GTD against Mansfield. I knew we that. know it. Bastard. <laughs> oh, 3 0. Question four, Josh Boyfinger out. Which player was the youngest ever to play for their club? Oh, stunning. Um, oh, Go on, God. Josh. Charlie Raglan? No, frozen out. And he's out of there. <laughs> I thought I could make a Wollongong like comeback at 3 0 down. <laughs> Shout out, Mark Robinson. Three time, Luke. Fuck, you know. New Year in. <laughs> Steve Guyman? No, it was Mark O'Brien. Oh. Starting his career at Derby yeah, County. Of course. We spoke about it. We spoke about it. Still 3 yeah. 0. Question 5. Which player? Was it CD Marino before moving to Port Vale? <laughs> Go on, Josh. Joey Ragland. Yay! <laughs> right. Question six. Who has played for Dundee 25 times before <laughs> switch to St Johnston? Luke. Robbo. Robbo. Forgot his name. <laughs> I knew I was here. He was like one glong or whatever you said, and I was like, exactly. Shout out Mark Robbo. Yeah. Bloody hell. Pressure. Full on. on. Don't worry about it. This chances. Like just like Leeds so, yesterday, you never know with this guy. When waiting. he's coming back. Yeah. You never Probably. know. So final round, and it's named Who Am I? So you get three clues. I'll give you clue one. If you get it on clue one, you get three points. Okay. Luke, you're on four. Josh, you're on one. If we buzz in, are we frozen out for the rest of the clue? You're frozen out until the next clue. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. So this can be any player. This is not just the guest that we've had on. Okay. So, clue one. I've began my career at Nottingham Forest, made two appearances before moving to Chelsea. Go on, you can have your guess. Patrick Bamford. Oh my god! He's got it! He has got it! Clue two was I have played for both Derby <laughs> and Burnley on loan. Patrick Bamford, Bill! <laughs> and then clue three where I am playing currently in the Premier League for Marcelo Bielsa. There you oh go. My god. Luke. Well done, Luke. 7 1 wow. down. Bamford aficionado, they are. You do love Bamford. It's just yeah, how it is. Patrick Bamford. One Bamford. Right. Question seven. Clue one. Born in Wrexham and began my career at Man United. Boom! Go on. Robbie Savage. Yeah! <laughs> Go on, Robbie! <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. Clue I two. I played most of my career at Leicester, but you may know me from my talent at Blackburn Rovers. <laughs> Clue three, I played 124 times for Derby County and come out of retirement to play for Stockport County. 124 games he played for Derby? Yeah, and he was shitting every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like Robbie Savage, you're a good player. But, uh, right, question eight. It is seven four. Josh, you can bring it back in. Clue one, I began my career in Monaco before earning a switch to Juventus. Hey, um. Thierry Henry. Oh, oh, oh my God! <laughs> it's seven all. Oh, oh my God! This so seems, much pressure on you. Oh, this, this is like fucking Melbourne v Liverpool all over again. This. You've absolutely. Oh my God! This goes down. down to the last question. He's and I think he's shitting himself. He's shitting himself. <laughs> seven all. Right. Are you ready? Oh god, I'm nervous. I'm not. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> Clue one. Born in Chester and began my career at Liverpool. Starting guesses, starting guesses. Josh? Jamie Carragher. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he's in Liverpool, mate. Not that accent. Chester. You know what I mean? It's not what I mean. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm trying to think who's been in Hollyoaks that played for Liverpool. <laughs> Go on. Michael Owen. Oh. And we have a winner! Well done. Well done. That's class. I thought you'd have had that, Josh. Played for United. Yeah, he's a right prick, though, isn't he? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I like my horses, I do. I like my horses. There's a great. If, you, uh, if Josh would have got that right, he'd have won. There's a great <laughs> video you should <laughs> both on watch, which is um, Michael Owen at his stables with Chris Wood and Jack Cork pretend riding fake horses because they own a horse together. Mm-hmm. And it's just Chris Wood going, "Aye, right, yeah, let's see what you're doing here." <laughs> I can't do a New Zealand accent. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, brilliant. Luke, 10-7. That was thrilling. We couldn't even plan that any better to be as close as that. No. Right? The clue, clue two and three was absolutely pointless, but <laughs> I mean, clue two Very for fun. that one. I've played in Spain before joining the Magpies. Mm. Clue three. I had many injuries during my career and my last big club was Manchester United. Stoke City. Stoke. Well, <laughs> yeah, Man United. <laughs> right. So, so, the moment you have all been waiting for, the T-shirt giveaway, the pine of pine, beautiful, pristine T-shirt giveaway. And you've all been entering through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our last YouTube video. So, Josh, take it away. Who is our winner? Yeah, so I'm going to do it live. I'm going to record my screen. These are the entries that we've had. Multiple entries from multiple people. Um, right, okay. I'm going to start recording my screen because we'll put the video on separately as well because, I mean, no one's going to watch this. Um, okay, so here we go. Recording now and pick a winner. Here we go. The winner is... Ash Taylor! Ash Taylor! Wow, our most loyal fan, Ashley Taylor, well done. We'll get in touch with you for your Pine of Pine t-shirt. Any colour, any size. Incredibly wow. deserved winner because he puts all his videos on Spotify for us. So, it, And yeah. this is random, so... I. I oh, yeah, it. absolutely random. Yeah, of course that it did is. sound so fixed when he said that yeah well done mate well done so if you just send us 15 pounds we'll um <laughs> <laughs> yeah Joking. please we're desperate <laughs> um right so we'll go into Anyone who did enter, if you really want a t-shirt they are about 12 quid so just let us know and we'll order you one but if you if you are interested in any t-shirts get in the comments and say you know what i'm a pine pipe fan give me one of them it's so, Christmas, a time for giving. Give. Don't order a hoodie, because you won't get one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, our, score on hoodies. <laughs> our score predictions for this weekend, and we'll start Luke, Derby versus Preston. I know you really want Preston to do well, so... Mm. <laughs> I think it'll be a resounding 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I hit my teeth. There we go. There we go. It's settled. It is settled. Josh. Oh, God. I just tasted it. Salt. <laughs> well, tonight, thank God it's them instead of you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for watching all of our videos. If you do, why do you? We're idiots. Have an amazing Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Sub count just dropped by 40. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey fellas, it's Robbo. Just thought I'd send you a little message just to wish you well. Wish you all the very best for Christmas and hope you have a fantastic new year. To the Pie in the Pint podcast. Thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, terrific. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed having me on. Um, that's what it's all about. So um, during this unprecedented times, hopefully everybody stays safe over the Christmas period. And looking forward to many, many more of your podcasts in 2021. All right, fellas, take care and all the very best. Cheers, Robbo. Merry Christmas to everybody who watches Pine of Pine. And a happy new year.